just hit my finger so bad. <laughs> Sometimes you just have to be persistent. Give it a couple tries. All right, guys. <laughs> What's up? My name is Gabe Cruz, and this is Janice Batiri. Hey. And you may have seen her in the other video where she learned a rock to fakey on our mini ramp. <laughs> so we brought her back to the bro house because you guys seem to really really like her and yeah. we like her and we want to see her progress. She wants to learn a fakie shove on that there bank right there, Mario. But the real question is, have you ever done a shove it before? I've done a regular shove it. Have you ever done a fakie shove it? Um, yeah, well I tried when I was playing Fabian and skate and I got mm. a, like the worst shinner of my life. It's still swollen from a week ago. Well, let's add to that. <laughs> Skateboarding! What we try to preach here at Braille is that we go from the basics and we keep taking it a step farther every single time. So what I would recommend you do is do a fakey shove on flat ground first because I think it'll make it easier for you. Okay, we're, we're good. All right, we're good. Shove. We can do this. If she lands this first try, I will get her Jamba Juice. No! <laughs> Why? I'm actually so surprised that I got that. I couldn't even see. That was so see, lucky. See, what was supposed to happen is that she was supposed to not land it, then I wouldn't owe her Jamba Juice, and then I can go off on a whole tangent about how you're supposed to commit to your trick, and that's how it makes everything easier, but she landed it, and now I don't know what to do. It was pretty lucky. That was sick, though. That was good. I was, that was, yeah. All right, well, do Ooh. another one, too, to make sure. I didn't think that was going to happen, but the Jamba really just, uh, <laughs> put things into perspective. Wow. I count it. That's not bad. No, I don't count that. No, what? Are you serious? Yeah, you got this. I both feet on for like a second. Wow. So. Professional snowboarder takes down fakie shove it on flat ground. I can't believe I got this. You did the fakie shove it yep. on flat. Now the logical next step would be to go up a bank. What you got to do is roll up there. Roll down fakey. There's a few secrets that I'm gonna give you when you're doing this fakey shove on this bank. Okay. Mario, let's take a walk. You, sh you should come listen oh, though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The logical way you're gonna think to go is lean back, but that's gonna really mess you up because if you're going up a bank fakey and you're leaning this way, your board's gonna shoot out all different directions that way and it's gonna be really weird. So what I recommend you do is keep your weight over your board. Just keep it over. My new tail. So that the entire time the shove it is going, you're just over your board and you don't have to worry about it flying anywhere. I'll show you real quick. Mario, you, I'll film, you can film this one. When I do it, see how I leaned over it the entire time? Because if you're leaning back, it's gonna shoot forward. That's just the way skateboarding physics works. I don't know, I'm not a physicist. I don't understand it that much, excited for the very basics that you need to keep your weight over the board to compensate for bankiness. Does that make any sense? Mario says it makes sense, so it must make sense. Now I have a question for you. Did that make any sense or did I just confuse the hell out of you? Yeah, it basically stay over the board. And yes. Don't, don't shoot it out. Yes. Because then I'd fall and it would hurt. Go fast and commit. All right, coach. So if Put I, me in, if, coach. If you land it right here, I will buy you the biggest souvenir cup Jamba Juice size they have. And if you don't land it, then the earlier one I buy you is canceled. Wait, the Jamba Juice is canceled? Yes. Are you allowed to do that? Yes, I am. Is that a I'm thing? I'm very allowed to do I that. I don't think you, that's like Indian This is giving. my channel. No I can take do backs. It. Nope. My channel. Gabe's channel. His rule. Oh, that pop. <laughs> What'd she say? <laughs> that she's gonna call you Papa. She's gonna call me Papa? She's gonna call Papa that pop. Roll that pop. <laughs> Please just go. It's not as creepy as Daddy. <laughs> started laughing about calling me Papa and now she can't think straight. It's the Mario effect. That's what I call it. <laughs> Let's go. Come on. Okay. Oh my God. What I, happened there? I committed. I put my feet on, but I wasn't, I didn't land balanced. You were leaning weird. Yeah. You got to keep your weight over the skateboard, like I said. She is wired right now I'm and so I'm hyped. sleepy. I'm so hyped right now.
See guys, so when you're learning how to skateboard, a lot of tricks you're doing are gonna seem really, really scary. And sometimes they are, and sometimes they aren't. You just have to get in that mindset. There's a zone you have to go into and you have to say, no matter what, this try, I'm gonna, I'm gonna land it. And then you go and you do it, no matter what, just at least put two feet on there. Even if you don't roll away, it's okay, but you wanna at least know that you tried. That board popped up a little bit and Mario went ah! You thought I was gonna break your lens. Whoopa! I didn't. Oh! She's so close every single try. It's I have to jump forward more because I'm it's, landing like too far behind it. That one foot is so close. All she's gotta do is just say, hey, I'm putting it on. And you put it on, that was cool. And then you roll away. <laughs> commit guys. Go fast and commit. It's the braille rule. Oh, I wanna get this. My head is in the game, man. I'm focused on what's forward, not what's backwards, okay? You gotta look ahead, not behind. Alright, this is the one. This is the one. Oh! oh, snap! She called that! She said, this is the one! <laughs> That was so good. Yeah, How'd I, that feel? Like, what, what went through your mind on that one? Um, so after I blatantly claimed it in front of the camera. I, I heard that. That was sick. Yeah, I, I knew that I like had to do it. I'm like, this is going to be so much more embarrassing since I just claimed it really hard. Yeah, I definitely would have left it in so, too. <laughs> I just kind of like knew I had to land it and I really hoped it would happen. And I just laser beam focused into it. and You it, took it down. <laughs> That's what matters here. Oh, that was exciting. So have you heard of something called two to make it true? Yes, you guys made me do it on the rock to fakey and the oh, second yeah. one is just as scary. All right, so uh, two to make it true. Let's go at the same time. I know I tic tac she rolled away clean too. <laughs> you took down that two to make it true surprisingly easy. First try, I'm double, my lucky double socks. dragons, old braille. I guess the really only way to up the ante is to go like up the bank, like all the way up the bank to flat. That might be a little bit harder, but I 100% I think you can do it. So you're just gonna have to go like really fast. You're actually gonna have to go up that one, come back down and yeah. then go as fast as you can up it. Show me what you got. Let's, Let's see if see. I can even do this Let's first try. Let's see who try. gets this. So I basically have to land that first try or else he wins. So I told you. Take you no that. prisoners. Take no prisoners. You're a liar, dirty little liar. I know you can do it too. So don't give me that. I don't want to hear that. Immediately, what I saw is that you need to go faster first off, mm -hmm. and you need to shove less, even okay. less so than on the yeah, bank. Yeah, because it, it came around a lot easier. Yeah, it, it comes around. I'm not sure why, but just for some reason, when you're going that fast and you're going up, it's going to be a lot easier. Shove less and then go faster. Specifically on this one, you're gonna have to really focus on not leaning too far this way. When you land, not leaning too far this way. You wanna keep your shoulder center. Keep your, all your weight. Shoulders should be over your legs. Keep it center or you're gonna slip out. Oh. That was it. Oh. We're good. <laughs> we're good. That was, it's close, but we're good. Right there. She's at that point where she knows how to do it. It's all mental. She's got to commit at this point. Oh. Nothing easy. You got this. When I think about like in my head what I'm doing, I know the only thing I'm doing is that I'm just stepping onto the ground. It's like my right foot, I'm not even trying Literally. to put on the board. Yeah. Okay, I right. think too much. I'm a thinker. I use the noodle. She's thinking too much. She just needs to revert that thought into I'm going to land it this try and then roll away from it. She Just gave it away. Please. She gave it away. She's got to keep all that weight centered over her board. Bolts. Commit! Commit! That's Commit, Janice! This don't is the that. dragon at the end of the level. Don't say that. It's not the dragon. You're the dragon slayer. 
So it is a dragon and I'm gonna slay it. Alright, fine. Yes, it's a dragon, but it's like a really tiny, weak dragon and you're like a huge, <laughs> giant dragon slayer that just like takes one little flick and the dragon is gone. And then watching in the corner, sweet baby Jesus, six pounds, seven ounces, and his little diaper with his little curly hair and little halo floating above. What are you talking about? Right there. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> oh my mm. oh. Your feet are attached, a lot less can go wrong. You got this. Right now. Right now. Holy crap! Oh that was God. amazing! I was like, you're landing it right here. And then she went up there, I was like, huh. And then she did it, and I was like, huh, huh. huh. Yeah, I like rolled Good in, job. and I came back, and then I went, huh. And then I landed huh. my board, and went, huh. 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 huh, huh, huh. How are you feeling now that you landed I, that? I, that time I went into it, and I was, I, you said I got this, and I was thinking about how every time I've made like a hard claim so far in this video, I've landed the trick. So I'm like, okay, like he claimed it, I claimed it, like I have to do it. And it just kind of happens. Sometimes you just gotta <laughs> find the things that make you commit. Maybe you're at a skate park and you see Mario and you're like, damn, I gotta impress Mario. <laughs> and then you do it right in front of Mario and he doesn't notice you, but it's okay because you landed it. Two to make Someone it true. Did. That was sick. That feels so good. And we're gonna count it. All right, well that was really good. Yeah. That was really good. I'm hyped. We honestly went into this video just expecting her to do the shove, and she went and did even more than that. That is what we try to preach here at Braille, and that's what we want all of you guys to do, is we want you to go out with your friends, we want you to start filming with them, we want you to start progressing and pushing each other, because that's what friends do, and that's what skateboarding is about. Uh, I want you to run us through it. How do you feel right now? Like, take us through everything. Well, right now I feel like I can do anything. Like, yeah. I have this feeling where I'm like, man, I can keep going. Like, I can go do a fakie shove, like, off of one of those boxes. There's okay. this feeling when you, I guess when you get a new trick where you, like, feel so empowered. Yeah, like, I can do. do this. Like, I can skateboard. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, it started off, um, it felt, those flatland uh, fakie shoves felt like I was just getting lucky. Um, I was really surprised that I landed two in a row. <laughs> Honestly, that was, <laughs> that was pretty awesome. I didn't think it would happen, but then after that, I was like, okay, well, I've got these on the bank, and that took a little bit longer because it was a different kind of mechanic and a different uh, challenge. It's more technical. Yes. More technical, that's the word. Um, but I got those, and then uh, stepping it up to this next level took longer than the step before, but, but that's expected it out, yeah. because skateboarding is about pushing yourself and trying things that you wouldn't normally be comfortable with and then learning them and feeling like this, like you just drank an energy drink or like four of them. <laughs> so for those of you who don't know, Janice is actually a very, very talented snowboarder. We're trying to teach her all of our skateboarding made simple tricks and just teach her how to skate in general because it's really, really awesome to see girls skateboarding. Sadly, we don't see enough of girls skateboarding around at skate parks and stuff like that. It's just something that you don't really see too often and we definitely wanna see more of it because skateboarding is a universal activity for anyone and everyone and that's what we're trying to preach here. It's really sick that you're coming here to skate with us. We really appreciate Thanks, it. Man. And if you wanna check out her YouTube channel and her website and her Instagram, I'll put the link in the description below so you can go check her out. And uh, yeah, leave her a nice comment. You guys should know, for those of you who are learning, <laughs> skateboarding is difficult. It's really hard and we're all one big family, so don't judge, just be hyped for her and be hyped for yourself when you're learning go land tricks. Anything else you wanna say? Oh, you put me on the spot. I, uh, you, exactly. you said it all. Yeah. You said it all, yeah. Girls, I hope this encourages you guys to try and, cause I was scared and I didn't think I could do this and when I go to skate parks and I'm surrounded by guys, I'm really nervous and uncomfortable. But yeah, if you stick with it, you can be learning your fakie shoves soon and then after that, kick flips and 
fakey big spins. All these like, front side knows? 180s, back side 180s, pop shoves, tricks. front shoves, heel flips, kick flips. Skateboarding made simple. Let's get it. <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe, like, leave a comment below, and we'll see you next time. I would like to invite all of you guys to our Halloween Braille House costume party on October 28th, 2017. You can come meet all of us, skate, have a great spooky time, and wear your Halloween costumes. So please get your tickets now. They are available on braille-skateboarding.com shop. So go get them, come meet us, and let's have an awesome Halloween costume party.